mean, you, you can all link to it, is that you know, I, I kind of characterize every single computer science class in a curriculum. Um, you can view it as though it was it's removing fear of something related to computing. Um, so an example is, let me see. Uh, an example is, let me see. Am I still in the link? Ah, oh, here we go. Sorry, I'm. Uh, I have too many windows open. Um, one example, so like uh, an operating systems class. So that's kind of by programming in low level C, an operating systems class dealing with seg faults and everything. You're, you know, it's not because you're really expected to build an operating system after you graduate. Pretty much nobody builds an operating system unless they, you know, work on Linux full time. But it's just removing the fear of programming and low-level C and getting all these weird errors and debugging. Um, so I kind of try to cast many CS classes in, in that way. Um, and I think that a big purpose of education, especially kind of formal education, isn't necessarily, there's this trade-off, right, of, um, of kind of vocational training versus a liberal arts or humanistic training. And a big, and in computer science we hit this a lot because on one hand people are saying, oh, you should major in CS because you get all these high paying software engineering and jobs and such. And then they expect the curriculum to be very vocationally based. How do you learn Ruby on Rails? How do you learn Ajax? How do you learn X? But then on the other hand, from a CS and an academic perspective, we want to teach them general principles because we know that the web framework of choice today will not be the web framework of choice in five years and so forth. Um, but then you can't just teach all theory either because then the students will revolt and say, oh, you know, this is all useless. So um, so one way I'm thinking about framing these CS classes is, you know, let's say you never have to write a line of kernel code in your life. Why is this class still useful? And it's useful because it's helping you get over this fear of debugging and, and those sorts of things. 